How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption and today we are going to try and find a way to change my primary commander from Constantine to somebody else with Joan as a secondary. Constantine has been a huge target in open field. People know that Joan or Mulan are behind him and I need to find a different commander who can take that role to hide Joan, buff my marches and not get swarmed instantly. So stick around, let's see if we can find one and thanks for joining me guys. Okay, so here we go. We got no gear on Constantine. Talent tree is pretty typical. I think this is a pretty normal talent tree for open field. Um, right now I've got my farm with 20,000 T4 infantry with a decent level 60, Charles Martel and Richard. Obviously not expertise, but he should be just fine. Let's hit him with half the troops though. I don't want to completely obliterate him. Let's go with Constantine Joan, no equipment on, and let's see what we get. Now I will just scout from my farm account so that they both have war frenzy not that it really matters but trying to keep things equal let's let it cast a few times once it's gone through about five different turns we'll pop open the uh, report and just see when the skills are casting and from there we can tell you know when we add the horn uh, of fury or when we add a different commander what's going to be similar to constantine that's what we're trying to do is get it to cast as many times as we can but maybe with something that isn't screaming swarm and, and murder me. Probably the best bet because some of the reports I got back from Constantine were just atrocious. Okay, that's probably good. We'll bring him back. I'll call back the Charles. I have that on my computer using the beta version of Rise of Kingdom, which still works, which is great. Let's take a look at the report. Okay, so battle log. And I will write this stuff down. So our side, first skill, arrange my papers here. Okay. Do sticky notes. Why not? Sticky notes are easy to do. We got, so we'll put Constantine, Dean, no horn, because I'm going to try this with the Horn of Fury as well, because I do have that accessory. We've got turn nine. What's going to be next? Turn 15. So six turn separation. Turn 21. Yep, that's six again. Let me guess turn 27. Yep. And turn 33. Okay, so six turns in between each. First one casting at nine. Let's add Constantine. Let's add the accessory, Horn of Fury. And let's try this again. So we'll bring out March, Constantine, and Joan again. Don't want any of those. That would not be a good report. Just 10,000. You know what, let's just save this. Why not? Make it faster. I can change the commanders from there, but at least the troop count will be ready. Okay, and on my other screen, I'm going to attack. I already have that preset. And here we go. So again, nothing's changed. It's still gonna be 20,000 T4 infantry, same commanders, nothing's different. Okay, let's see how this goes. Now, I, I imagine this will be a bit better I don't know if the separation between them will be better, but probably the first cast will be better. Depending on how the horn works, it's 30% chance of 50 rage each attack, so it's a little bit random. But let's see what it comes in at. Okay, we'll wait till our health goes down a bit more. One more, and then we'll run away. We'll run away and we'll send Charles back to his castle. 
Let's see what the report comes in at when it decides to get here. Okay, battle log. Let's see. We've got... Okay, turn 9 again. Turn 9. Turn 15. So this is exactly the same. So the horn's not doing anything. No, 21. 27 again, and I'm guessing 33. 33. So with horn, no change. Okay. So that's not too bad. Now let's try. I don't think this is going to be great, but let's try Richard. Richard is a tank. People don't usually swarm him first. I don't know why I'm in weapons. Let's put on the accessory. Now he doesn't have a lot of rage gain from talents. It's just a standard talent tree. He gets burning blood. He gets undying fury. That's it. So I don't think this is going to keep up. I don't think it's enough rage gain. Maybe if I had like uh, the Kerouac's drums as well, but I don't think I'll ever forge that. Let's do Richard and Joan. I don't think this is going to do it, but it's worth testing. Well, let's see, I know having Richard without the horn isn't worth even considering it just there's too much delay between uh, skills to keep Joan worth it out in the field okay now this is going to be exactly the same I should be able to hit it yeah boom 20,000 no changes okay so we'll do Richard with horn and let's see we'll let this cast a couple times and then we'll take a look at the report. Um, I don't know how I'm going to edit this. I might just let the whole video play, put some background music in or something, just so people don't think I manipulated this in any way. Again, though, the horn is a bit random. You could go a whole, you know, between a whole skill cast and not get the horn. And then the next one, you can get the horn three times. Totally random. I get that. But I do need to get Constantine out of the open field because... He is not doing so good. I think we're probably good there. Obviously, these two could go at it for a while. Um, just from them healing themselves. That's probably good. I'll run away from there. Take him back. Refresh him in a second. Let's take a look when the report comes in. Imagine we'll be at 10. Oh, no. Okay. 9. 9. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so nine, then we got 16. Okay, so that's where we're going to lose it. So we've got a seven, seven second or a seven attack separation, then 23. Yeah, so seven seconds again, 30, no, 29. Okay, so the horn probably worked twice there. 29, 36, we're back to seven. So overall, it's not terrible. And then 42, which is six. So that's actually not bad with the horn. Should we try it without the horn? Let's try it without the horn. Let's see how bad it is without the horn. I've never actually tested this. I've just known that obviously Constantine fires off Joan's skill faster. Not just his debuff, but obviously, no, not the wrong one. Jones' buff is what really everyone's after. When you have all your marches out. Okay, let's try this again. 10,000. Okay, and then I'll send... I guess I could use the preset I just said a while ago, but... Oh, well. Okay, and we've got this again. Now, this should be... This should be 10, and then... 18 you know a separation of eight after that um, I don't think we'll see anything better than that but let's take a look so that's oh. so that was with the horn let's see without okay we'll let this go a couple more times definitely looks slower 
but we'll take a look. Let's do one more. And then we'll send them back. And she drops it and sent back. Take Charles back there. And let's see. Yeah, 20,000. Let's see what we get. Battle log. Okay, so turn 10. What do we get next? Turn 17. Turn 24. So separations of 7. 24. 31. And then I imagine 38. Oh, I canceled before then. So separation of 7. Starting at 10. So you're kind of losing out a lot there. That's definitely not worth it, but I'm surprised that the Richard with Horn is slower than the Constantine with Horn, obviously, but fairly close with the Constantine without a horn. So let's try, and this is where I think we'll change it to, is um, I think I'm just going to add it with the horn right off the bat. So we are going to put... Leonidas with the horn. Now, Leonidas' second skill is what I'm thinking will work best. Speed of rage gained 15%. Obviously, you have to have all infantry units, which isn't a problem. That's all I'm going to send with Leo is, and Leo and Joan is going to be infantry. There'd be no reason to send mixed troops. Um, of course, I'm going to keep, I never choose. There we go. There's Leo. Okay, Leo and Joan, let's go 10,000. Okay, and then I will send the 20,000 again of Charles and Richard from my alt. No different. Now, I'm curious to see how this goes. Again, there's some luck involved, but I think that this is probably gonna be the closest to Constantine we're gonna get. And that's with the horn. I don't think we'll be as good with Constantine. I see. But even when Constantine had the horn, though, he didn't get better. It was exactly the same. So if we can, if we can match Constantine by having the horn, I wonder what it'll be like with Leo without the horn too. So we'll try that after this. We're we'll, gonna do the horn first, and then we'll try after without it. it looks like he's gaining rage pretty fast. Obviously, he's dying quicker than Richard because he doesn't have healing. But it looks like he's casting it really quickly. So let's pull it back because he's getting his butt kicked here. Doesn't have Richard heals. And let's see what this report comes in. So another sticky note. Leo. Obviously, this will need more testing. I think this is just a good start to try and find a different commander to get my Constantine off as a primary. Okay, let's see what we got. Battle log seven. Seven. King of Sparta. Okay. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. I really want to see this. And Jones skills casting. Am I reading this wrong? I don't, I don't think I'm reading this wrong. No, Joan casts it at nine. Okay, well that was two turns faster than Constantine, so maybe that was just really lucky, but okay. So I'm going to put with horn, turn seven. I didn't think that's how that was going to go. Turn 13. So we're in separations of six. Turn 19, still six. I'm liking this. Turn 25, six, turn 31. That was obviously the separation after your first cast is the same as six, but the first skill casting two turns faster. That's a little odd. I don't think we'd get that again. Let's, you know what? I'm gonna try the exact same thing again. because I think that was just pure luck. But if you can get Jones' skill to cast at 9, 
Um, obviously, Leo's at, at seven. Um, let me just, okay, and I could have done this faster again, sorry. But I'm trying to talk and think at the same time. Let's do this, this is fast, preset. Again, nothing's changed. I don't think we'll see a seven again. I think that was super lucky. 20,000, let's see. Don't think one, two, four, five. That might have been seven again. Hard to tell. Sometimes you see the numbers a little off. Um, it is also 1230 at night. But, you know, no work this week. So why not? Okay, we'll leave this. I want to see this a little bit longer. I'm just going to, and then we'll take the horn off and see how much of a, difference it's making but I've never thought of using Leo with Joan never I wonder how it's going to do an open field that's going to be interesting I have a while to wait for that I might use this in arc though we have arc coming up this week which I record and I'll post um, but that this could be interesting battle log seven seven again so seven, 13, should be 19 next, yep, 25, 31, wow. Okay, let's take the horn off. Obviously it's doing something. There's no way that Leo is that fast without the horn. Or I've been missing this for a very long time. Never thought to try the horn like this. 10,000. Let's attack. Hopefully my hospitals aren't filling up. Obviously on my farm, probably is, but it's pretty decent. It's a pretty decent farm, like 33 million power. I'll scout it again just for full transparency because I'm not switching between screens. 20,000 T4. Highly doubt this will be. One, two, three, four. Six, seven. Might have missed one on that first one. Not good to count. That's why we go for the reports. But uh, so that's right. Let's go without horn. Turn. And we'll see where this lands. Leo with Joan. I didn't think it would turn out this well, considering Constantine. Just the start, obviously. A lot of people, when you're in murder balls, they run away, right? So you, you're lucky if you get your full skill cast. So to have Jones' skill buff your, your marches for that first cast is awesome. Get that rage going. Get that skill cast. It really wreck people in murder balls. That is where I do my most damage as soon as I can cast the skills. Okay. Okay, eight. Okay. So it's definitely doing something, but let's see. So we got eight, 14. So we're still in sixes, 14, 20, 26 next, 26, 32, yeah, 32. So it is helping, six. 26 hmm so the horn is just really helping for that initial one by one turn afterwards it's not really doing a whole heck of a lot hmm Leo with Joan well I think that's pretty sweet I don't think I need to test anybody else for infantry I'm not going to put him behind or put Joan behind like Ramses. No, that doesn't make any sense. Um, Alex, no, he's a huge target. People usually think there's YSG behind him. That's why he swarmed. Um, Constantine has exactly the same talent tree and no skills that give to rage regeneration. So it might be best. And I, I like using Alex behind Guan 
I find they get better reports. People disagree with me, but I've been fighting with Guan for a very long time, and I think Alex behind is, is the best. Um, Leo and Joan. I'm definitely going to have to try that with the horn. I might as well leave the horn on there and get that casted faster. Um, obviously, it's just a turn, but it's still, it's when you're talking about murder balls and pulling, that one turn is going to help. And then I can get Constantine out of there because Constantine, like, he's, his turn is nine. Even without the horn, Leo did better than that. With, you know, six turn separation, but he still did better. I think we need to hide Constantine somewhere else. I don't know where yet. I still want him in open field. He might still be a six March primary with Mulan as a secondary. Once I finish Mulan, I'm not done her yet. I think I should be done her by next KVK, depending on dailies. They're expensive. I blew my ROK budget on Crystal Tech, so I probably won't be seeing much of her for a little bit. But that would be nice. Even if I did leave Constantine out there, he is a huge target though. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. But Or maybe even putting Mulan behind Leo and keeping Joan behind Constantine just because... Um, Mulan's when she's expertise that's when she's usable but it's only three seconds with Joan at least you're getting four seconds where's my Joan Joan primary yeah four seconds so I don't know guys I think Leo's and uh, Leo and, and Joan as a secondary in open field might be good you don't have to have Leo expertise he could be five five one one with Joan as a secondary, I think that might be that might be worth trying. Um, if you guys like these videos, please hit the like and subscribe. Um, first time I've ever done one of these types of videos, but I'm really trying to figure out my five to six March murder ball. I'm hoping to have six marches for next heroic anthem as well. I've got it now. It was a little bit late. I didn't get a lot of fighting in with six marches, but I'm hoping for next one it is. Um, but that's it guys. Thank you for joining me until next time. Have a good one. See you later.